ask you is because I asked I asked Faison the same thing. Mm-hmm. Um, for as Bubba, shout out to Faison Love, yeah, yeah, Faison Love, one of the first dudes I met in this business, really, and we've yeah. been friends ever since. So Bubba Dub, uh, do you know Bubba Dub? <laughs> comedian, yes, Bubba <laughs> Dub, Country Wayne. Yeah. I asked this question to all the older comedians because mm-hmm. they and the movie and the and the uh, the series, the the comedy series. You've been in everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Let me ask you, I got to ask you the question that I always ask everybody. What what I want to ask you is, because I asked, I asked Faison the same thing. Mm-hmm. Um, for as Bubba, Shout out to Faison Love. Yeah, yeah, Faison Love. One of the first dudes I met in this business. Really? And we've yeah. been friends ever since. So Bubba Dub, uh, do you know Bubba Dub? <laughs> Comedian. Yes, Bubba <laughs> Dub, Country Wayne. Yeah. I asked this question to all the older comedians mm-hmm. they, and the movie and the and the, uh, the series, the, the comedy series, you've been in everything. Mm-hmm. Um, we always ask this question, how do you feel about the new way that these guys are doing with the internet success that they're having versus the way that things originally were done in stand-up and now you're doing uh, you have nights where you guys come on the same stage and y'all both have to rock out and you have to have mutual respect for one another. Mm-hmm. So how does that weigh out Versus, you know, the way it was, Damn. the way it is. I don't knock it. And I'm one of the OGs that embraced it. You okay. Could, you could look at my social media and tell. Yeah. I, I embraced it. I mean, a lot of the OGs, you know, my age or my level or higher, at first they were really against that with this whole, this shit, this whole Instagram shit. Man, on. Yeah, he was like, that's some, other, that's some other, that's some other shit. And I'm not knocking anybody that does. I do what I can do. I'm not, I'm not a TikToker, you know? I don't care if a kid walked in and he's 19 right now and you tell me he got 152 billion views. It's just not my shit. I always tell them young niggas, I was fake. I was funny your whole life. Yeah. So I found a way. You yeah. Get, you get yeah. what I'm saying? Um, I, I just, when it first started, I just had a problem with dudes calling themselves comedians. Okay. You, you're funny. Anybody can be funny for 30 seconds, maybe a minute. A comedian is, there's 2,000 people. Here's the mic. You're next. Uh, now, now let me see how funny you are. Because that's an art form right there. You get up there and entertain those people for 20 minutes, a room full of thousand strangers, and you, and you kill them. Oh, more power you to you, but you're a comedian. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. Good job. Right? But a lot of these cats, the social media guys, it's almost like, I hate to say it, Insta. Instant. Insta. It's like Insta famous. People are getting famous without having to be talented. Wow. People, uh, you know, they, they're getting it twisted just because you have 11 million followers. I've had dudes that have 11 million followers, but don't have 11 minutes of jokes on stage. No, I get you, it. You, I get, you get it. what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I've seen it happen right in my fucking face. Yeah. Again, not knocking them in any kind of way. I know a lot of the young, you know, social media dudes that are. That, that we're able to flip it, you know, like take DC Young Fly, yeah, Country Country, Country Wayne, Wayne. Uh, Lewis Belt, a lot yeah. of you know, a lot of these dudes were able to flip it and make. Man, I'm proud of those no, dudes. And that's and, and that they were able to make something was, happen. That was a whole conversation because I think it was even Columbus Short. We talked to him a little earlier. Mm-hmm. He was like, you know, because they was comparing the residuals versus the YouTube and the Facebook way they. Oh, get that's paid. a different world. So that's a different um, they, world. They was trying to figure out how are they going to get paid when they're all, you know, when, once everything goes away. How does that world work? Right. Well, it looked, well, you know what it is? It's almost like Instagram and uh, social media. It's kind of like uh, what we used to call like having to pay your dues. Yeah. It's almost like if you know anything about baseball, it's almost like it's the uh, it's the minor leagues. It's getting you ready. It's the farm system yeah. before ABC, NBC, CBS. That was the generation I I came up under. But now, you know, the way it is now, you you can mess around and have 10 million followers and ABC will give you a shot. Yeah, yeah. You know, because of your following. But there's one thing you can't cheat. And there's one thing you can't lie on. You you still have to know your craft. That's correct. And what happens is a lot of these Instagram is like, dude, you're still living on your mama's couch and you really didn't truly learn the trade. Yeah. You know, it's almost yeah. like a chick that's all she does is twerk and show her ass and show her titties every day. And now she does she think that a Queen Latifah is going to respect that? Does she think a Jada Pinkett? Does she think a Gabrielle Union? Does she think a you know an Oprah Winfrey is going to respect that? No, there's a lane for it now. Don't get me wrong. There's a lane for uh, what do you call it? Uh, 
uh, reality TV. Yeah, yeah. These niggas are getting famous off just literally fighting for a whole hour. And they get down. <laughs> and, then, and then talking mess. And just, uh, 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 okay, yeah. I've, I've flipped through the channels and saw you a couple of times, but it's not the same respect. No, I get it. It's not the respect of what we call a body of work. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? I know it. I know So exactly. I'm not knocking, because I, I know the younger generation, they'll take every single thing that I said. I think, it's, I think that I'm knocking their way and their route. All I'm saying is, do what you got to do, but just know, still to this day, man, you still got to work on your craft. Still take acting classes. Just because you can get a thousand views real quick in five minutes on your phone, don't you want to be a better actor? Yeah. Don't you want to be a better actress? So if you do get a chance on a real sitcom, on a real TV show, know what four cameras is, know how to read a script, know how to cold read, know how to actually act. No, because they didn't work on it. No, you're right. There was no preparation. It's almost like I joke sometimes. These dudes nowadays be like, hey, hey, hold the camera real quick, right? Be in your mama's uh, driveway and it's a basketball hoop, right? Hold the camera. And I hit three in a row. And I'll be like, Nigga ready for the league. No, you're not, nigga. <laughs> Just because you hit three, three shots, shots that you, ain't gonna you ready be for the league. That ain't gonna but be you, get, you get, get the exactly, comedy behind that, exactly. right? Yes. He thinks just because he made no, no, you're not knowing about the part of being in shape. Not thinking about the blood, sweat, and tears of people that have been doing this their whole lives. Yeah. That are getting ready. So just because you shot three in a row, you think you're ready to go play for the Lakers? Just because just you made somebody laugh on your Instagram, you think you can open up for me, Chris Rock, Kevin Hart, and, and Dave Chappelle tomorrow night? In the such that's theater, you, you think you can do that? Happening. So you think so you take it away from what Tyra Banks and some of these great actual supermodels did just because you threw on a uh, uh, what is it, Fashion Nova thong? Yeah, yeah, Fashion Nova thong. Now you're you're a model. You're a model now. Right? Just because they took pictures, you're a model. Is that what it is? It's different, ain't it, man? It's you got to work. My bottom line is you got to work. They're not building a foundation, is what you're saying. Eventually, one day. You're gonna need to know the answers on the test. You, wow. you can't cheat the process. You can't cheat the process. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.